Hey, what's going on guys? IO Studios here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a cool wet road effect um, with some depth of field. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to be using uh, the Octane Render plugin. So, yeah, okay, here we go. Um, we're going to add in a plane, and this will be our road. So, we're going to add in a plane. We're going to scale it up a bit here. Um, just like that should be good. So, here, you know, let's go a little bit more. Just like that should be good. And we're going to position our camera right here. Now we're going to do the lighting first, um, and then we'll do the actual wet road effect. So, um, lighting, we're going to grab uh, objects, um, oh, what have I done? Objects, uh, octane area light, there we go. I did it correctly the first time. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add octane area light, um, we're going to scale it down a bit, maybe just like that. These lights won't be visible to the camera, so it doesn't really matter what, how big they are, it's just for um, the actual reflection. So, we'll put it right to the side here. Um, let's see, that looks that looks pretty good. Okay, we're going to keep it there. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy it, paste it. We're going to move it over here. Going to rotate it. 180-ish. And we actually need to go and move it manually to 180. There we go. Okay. Um, got that. We should probably move it like that-ish. Yeah. And we're going to grab both these lights, and copy it, and we're going to paste them over three times. Just like that. <clears throat> now we'll paste them over another time. Okay. Let's see how does this look? Okay, pretty good. Um, also, we're gonna grab these. We're gonna grab one of these, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it right above in front of the camera here. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Coordinates um, negative ninety. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Is we're gonna be putting the um, we're gonna be putting the lights like in front of the camera, right about here, up here. So that it creates some more nice reflections. That's always nice. Okay, so here. Lots of notifications. I get so many notifications when I'm recording. It is absolutely unbelievable. Okay, anyway. Um, we got this here. What we're going to do is... Um, so here, make sure these are centered. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and color all these lights. We're going to select all these tags. Um, we're going to go to our light settings, texture, C4D octane. We're going to use a... RGB spectrum, open it up, and okay, actually, you know what? We're gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to bring down the power of these. These are ex insanely bright. Okay, bring down the power slightly. 12. Yeah, that, that's probably good. Okay, how about that? Uh, okay, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna select the first light and we're just gonna go and we're gonna color all these. Um, we're gonna all give all these lights a bunch of different colors. We'll do a bit of yellow, we'll do some, um, oh, some red. Or I mean, some we'll do some green on this one, and we'll do some red on the next one. And this is going to take a second. This might be a bit tedious, but um, I'm going to try to go through all these lights and give them all a bunch of nice different colors. Um, normally, like base colors, red, green, blue, yellow, maybe some magenta. Some more yellow. Um, green. Blue and um, do some nice light blue thing, whatever. Um, and we'll do another red, another like deep red. There we go. Yeah, just like that's pretty good. Actually, now we've only got red on one side. I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna make it red because I want red on both sides. Uh, okay, there we go. That's 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 good. Now, what we're going to do is actually we're going to set, uh, we're going to go to our Octane render settings first, and we'll deal with that. Um, so, okay, go to your render settings, direct lighting, and path tracing. Um, going to bring up the parallel and max tile samples all the way, past the rendering. Um, let's see here, camera imager, I don't need to worry about that, post, I won't worry about that. Settings, under priority high, and uh, that's pretty much all we need to worry about for now, nothing too complex there okay let's make the actual material or shader or whatever you want to call it okay so create shader see for the octane octane material we're gonna apply it to our um, road here I'm gonna open it up and um, actually you know what first we're gonna make all these lights we're gonna select them all and we're gonna have visibility and camera visibility uncheck that uh, okay so now they're invisible okay so we're gonna go to our um, node editor and um, actually, one more thing I've totally forgotten to do. Okay, so first we're going to grab all these lights. 
hit Alt and G on your keyboard, put them all into a null, and we'll call this lights. Uh, can't spell lights. And we're gonna actually add the environment first. We're gonna make it just so it's like nighttime kind of. So okay, um, materials no, uh, object HDRI environment HDRI environment. Click on the tag. Um, use a C40 octane. Um, what's it called here? RGB spectrum. And we're gonna make it completely white, or I mean completely black. I mean, and just like that. So now the colors stand out a bit more because it's dark. Okay, we're gonna make the actual material now. Sorry, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna actually make the asphalt material, or road material, whatever. Image texture, and we're gonna grab a image texture, and we're gonna grab a UVW transform. Drag that into the texture. Drag that into the diffuse. And in the texture here, I'm gonna load in uh, a city. Um, or like a kind of a city asphalt um, road texture and you can just find this on Google Images or whatever texture websites you want to use but um, yeah it's pretty simple we got that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, in our transform here we're gonna grab a transform drag it into there and actually we could have done this more efficiently actually I will do it more efficiently I'm gonna get rid of this one and we're gonna drop this one straight into there and we'll drop the transform into there that's a better way of doing it actually uh, in our transform, we're going to set the scale to 0.5 and 0.5. And there we go. So now we've tiled it a bit. We've tiled it. Uh, so because this isn't a super high resolution texture. So um, if I zoom in here, it will it'll look better. It, it'll, because it'll, um, it, we tiled it, it'll look high resolution. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to go into our camera. And now we'll actually make the wet road effect. So basic material type, glossy. And uh, we'll move that up there. So we've got a glossy. The index, we'll set that to, uh, we'll try three. Uh, and for the actual specular, we're going to use a, um, a noise texture. So we'll grab some noise. Drop that into our specular. And, um, okay, we're going to have to scale this up. So global scale, just like that. And we're going to increase the contrast. Now, this is probably, like, the most tedious part of it, where you get to, like, find out how much contrast you want. Do you want more or less contrast? Um... Low clip, maybe bring that up a bit. Um, let's see here. How does this look? Okay, maybe bring up the scale. Global scale, bring that up a bit more. Um, we'll see here. Maybe decrease the contrast a bit. I'll increase the contrast. Yeah, just like that, maybe. And uh, actually, you know what? We're going to bring up the, the index even more. We're going to bring that up to five. How does that look? That's no, okay. And the roughness, we're going to need to grab a, uh, I'll scroll up here, grab a float texture for the roughness. And the float texture will do like, not that much. Not a lot at all, just a bit. So it's realistic. Um, yeah, just like that's probably good. And we got that. Uh, we're going to actually tweak the noise. The noise is the main part. This is what you're going to probably spend most of your time just tweaking, playing around with, seeing if you get, if you're getting the results you want. Um, let's see here. Maybe bring up the low clip a bit. So the low clip is. I'll bring that up maybe. Like that. Bring up the contrast maybe. Um, like that. And yeah, it's, it's really going to be playing around with this. Is what's going to get you what you want. So we'll try that. Um, that's pretty good. Maybe I want to change the light at the back here. I want to make this light right here red. I think that's going to look good. Make that light a bright red. Let's see here. And uh, we'll bring up the power on that a bit, maybe. Okay, so that's that. And actually, we're going to scale down the GR. There we go. Just like that. And it's 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 okay. You know, it's not great, maybe. Um, so I'm going to grab this one. I don't want the magenta here. And I'm round, now it's just going to be really tweaking the colors um, to get it what you want. And it's going to depend a lot on your scene what colors you, what colors you think would suit, um, suit what you're going for. But I think like that's going to probably be pretty good for me. Um, and, um, here, actually, I'll copy these, I'll grab these two, and I'm gonna move them up slightly, maybe move them over, uh, move them over something like that, I don't know, Just like that, perhaps, how does this look, there we go, a bit more detail, maybe, and, um, we'll grab one of them, we'll move it down, a oh, we'll grab one of them, move it up a bit, Grab the other one, move it sideways and down. And yeah, it's just up to you what, how you want to tweak it. But anyway, that's that. Now we're going to add some depth of field. Okay, so in your camera here, uh, tags, 
C4D Octane tags, um, Octane camera tag, and um, we're going to enable the focus picker right here. Click that. Disable autofocus and aperture. I don't know, five centimeters maybe. Click somewhere to focus. Oh, I keep opening my taskbar there. Um, and we'll focus. I don't know. Maybe we'll focus on this one. You know, focus wherever you want. Uh, maybe a bit less. We'll do like two, two point five. Maybe the depth of field is a bit insane. We'll give it like aperture one centimeter. Almost here. And yeah, you can change it now. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to do any kind of like background here. That's really up to you guys what you want to do there. Like if you want to do any like city, if you want this to be in a city or just this wet road effect, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to. Um, do anything. I'm gonna leave that up to you. But um, yeah, that's that. So uh, here, I'm gonna drop all this into one big thing, and we'll call it scene. And it's all clean up. And yeah, it's pretty nice. What road effect? Pretty happy with it. And yeah, if you guys want some different result, just tweak the noise texture, um, tweak the roughness, tweak the index of refraction, and just bring it up or down. Change however much you want to. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye.